M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. You know me, I'm always working hard to work out how to use these devices because they are complicated. So, Malahit DSP2, fantastic device. I can't say enough about this device. This video is about memory channels. I've had lots of questions about this, but I didn't want to make a video until I've worked out at least how to do the basics of storing a memory channel if you can. One thing you'll never see me do is go, oh, I'll save that for another video and then never ever make that video because I see that many, many times on YouTube. I always store it in my mind and one day I come back to it, even if it's six months. But anyway, memory channels. So the way it works with the DSP2, and you can scan by the way, is where well, you can scan memory channels, is you go band, okay? And while I say that, you can also scan a start and stop frequency as well that you have selected. But for this one, it's about memory channels. So we're in normal radio mode, All right? Then we go to band. And in band mode, you actually have six pages. Uh, the, the top knob, you know, it's a bit temperamental, but the top right hand knob, turn it to the right and it's gonna go through those pages, okay? And did you notice the last one is scan and monitors page? And this is where you can set parameters, start and stop scanning things. But that's not what this video is about. So page one of six, we're on the first one. How do we save a memory channel? All we do is, so you can see where that page is. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna store a completely different memory. I'm gonna store one of my favorites called HubNet. So I'm gonna tap the screen. I'm gonna go 434.550 megahertz. And then I'm gonna select the mode. So mode, narrow FM. And I highly recommend if you've got a radio, get a HubNet or find a way to link to HubNet the best so you can see nice and clear good strong signal and even if we want we can set the squelch so how do you turn on squelch just select audio enable okay enable it here in the audio tab go back to radio back in the radio tab and then to select squelch you just see the the middle knob press it and then turn see the white thing keep moving it around so I'm moving it quite a lot now until it's on the squelch section. It's just brilliant, anyway. And then when you turn the squelch up, you do have to spin it a bit. Yeah, it's not like your normal ham radio. Eventually it goes red here. There you are, to say that you've got the squelch set quite high. Okay, so that's fine. Now, let's save my favorite channel. Just push again so we're the reason you saw 25 is because when you press that, you can change the step. Press the right hand button, turn it, you can change the step between the frequencies. So you can set all this, then go to band, like so. And it goes straight to page one. Choose one that you want to change. So I'm going to change the first one because I was practicing on that one. Hold it down until it beeps. Right, okay. We want to change the name. See the arrows? We're going to move the arrows forward and just delete them, yeah? So, how do we do that? I think we just literally change. So, let's go like this. So we're turning the right hand knob until we see hub. H, move to the right. So you get numbers, letters, and all that, all kinds of stuff. Well, that looks foreign. Uh, <laughs> uh, hub. Someone's having a good old chat on HubNet. Always interesting. Remember, HubNet, although it sounds like analog, it's digital. Why am I going straight past A? Oh, I'll leave that B for now. Hub. N. Using foreign characters here. E. Net. Right, so it's telling you that squelch is on. Okay, we can put it back to default. If you put it back to default, I think it's called it like M2. Uh, everything looks fine. Squelch levels showing here. Very visually, just very appealing. And then just click, let's just zoom in a bit closer. Let's click save. So now look, if I choose another one, okay, that's gone to the other one. If I go band, Hubnet, how good is that? Okay, I think that's brilliant. Band, and I'm just gonna see if we can scroll through these pages. 
it does go straight from one, if you ask me. Ah, there it is. I'm spinning backwards and it is starting to go two. Three. And so you've got all these different pages of memory channels that you can, they're all preset to make it easier for you. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the scan monitor one now. I may as well. I was tinkering with it. I just found it really hard to change the megahertz. So we'll go to scan monitor five. Okay, and I worked out that we can choose the frequency. So you've got F1, and it's 434550, F2. It just, it just took me ages to, um, to change the second one. You can skip it, and it started. Now, I don't, at this point is where I get confused. I have to read the menu. I've started something and I don't even know what it is. Maybe it, it's because it's the same thing. So let's go back. The back button is is there. So maybe that if I tap the second one, change the frequency higher. Yeah, it's it's moving. Uh, or it's actually going lower, but that'll do just for test. And then go start. Now I th I think it's scanning, and what it's doing is that if it finds something it will stop, yeah? But I've not really used it properly. But this video is more about the memory channel. I just want to show you another thing to do with the the the, the band. Let's go back, hit band again. Yeah, so hit band, we're in the band page and we can choose one of the pages. I've noticed it says monitor. Okay, and here it looks like we can select which one of those grids and there's 50 grids. That we can that we want to scan, or you know, it will it will uh, scan through memory channels basically. So I click start. There's only one on there, okay? But it actually look, it is going through them actually. Yeah. So I've just stopped it. Go back with the band button, monitor, and there's a timeout here. Let's do one second. How do we change that here? Do we turn this? Yeah, they are. We'll change it to one. Save. And then we'll go start. And now look at the frequency changing. So every second, it's changing. And they call it the band monitor. So you could just leave it scanning, put your antenna on, forget about it. You could, it says it looks like you can skip and go next and all that if you want to jump past. But that is basically scanning memories. If you go back, to, and spin the knob all the way to the right until you see this. So you've got these preset ones. Let's do a brand new one. And let's, you've got one, let's change that slightly. Let's do it, say, one, I'm probably changing the step will probably speed up how much I'm doing this. If I change it to one megahertz. Um, but let's, um, Go, oh, that's better when you tap the frequency. 160.00. Ah, that's a lot better, being able to tap the frequency. Yeah, that's that's way better. So back with the band button. Oh, I haven't got to put the frequency in again. 160.00. Megahertz. Okay. And then we got the hold thing again. Listen by squelch. Okay. It's a scanner name. So it's called scan six at the moment. We'll just go, let's just type like we did last time. Um, I can't, ah, clear name, there it is, that's better. And then we'll tap and then we'll call it, let's call it A, just trying to not be here, although A30, A34. Save and exit, start. So now it's, I guess it's scanning between those frequencies, yeah? It's called A33, scanner six. Now if we come out completely, going back, auto save all changes, monitor first bypassed. There's the one we just did. Let's hit it and start. 
and this is what I'm seeing visually yeah I can skip let's try skip oh it's I see now it's skipping by the so let's get the squelch up so we go like so um, is it gonna let me do the squelch now ah, maybe we've got to set this first so we'll back out all the way we'll go audio squelch turn the squelch up until it's that's it and then we'll back out we'll go back to band spin it to scan right hand button tap the one i just made start yeah so it looks like we should have set the squelch there because at the squelch is it won't let me change squelch when we're in search so and look at see these little red lines i'm guessing that's your 25 kilohertz spacing between the channels so if we set it up properly let's do another one then i bet you they they might go green maybe so or we can skip manually skip you can see the frequency changing yeah so let's just come out do a brand new one all together coming out right a new one right and now this time is there a squelch adjust we can adjust the, the step i'm going to go to quite big so the biggest by the looks of it is one two five start start we'll leave it there listen by squelch uh, hold for let's change that to one in list what does that mean scanner name we know we can name it i'll leave the default start well, there you go so i'll keep playing with that thanks for watching my youtube channel so far you definitely know how to store a memory channel now and you've got the basics of the scanning and the scanning via let's call it vfo mode bye for now seven three all the best